Hey everyone! So I've been trying to come up with a project to do for Thanksgiving since that's right around the corner. I wanted to do something this week so that you guys would have enough time to do it by next week. I was trying to come up with something that was more broad so that those of you who don't celebrate Thanksgiving could still make it. Recently, Kristen from Wild Amour posted a recipe for sun butter pumpkin chocolate cups or something like that and they look like little peanut butter cups except with a pumpkin filling inside and I really liked that idea and I absolutely love the combination of chocolate with pumpkin so I decided that I wanted to sort of recreate that candy too. I didn't want nut butter flavor in it like she used sunflower seeds I believe and suggested that you could also use peanut butter if you want but I didn't want that because I feel like those flavors are really strong so I kind of came up with a recipe for the filling and I'm going to show you guys a different way to sort of decorate the candies so today I'm going to show you how to make these candies so let's get started you'll need one teaspoon of cinnamon one and a half teaspoons of allspice one eighth teaspoon of ground cloves 1 8 teaspoon of ground ginger, 1 8 teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a pinch of salt, half a cup of pumpkin puree, half a cup of crushed graham crackers, which would be about 4 crackers, 3 ounces of softened cream cheese, 2 tablespoons of sugar or to taste, 16 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, some orange candy melts, I didn't really measure these, you only need enough to brush a little bit into the molds for color, chocolate candy molds, I'll leave a link to the ones that I have down below, a metal rack, and an offset spatula. Mix together the pumpkin puree, cream cheese, sugar, and spices. Then mix in the crushed graham crackers. Set aside while you prep the molds. Melt the candy melts according to the instructions. Use a spoon to spread a thin layer over the pumpkin areas of the candy molds. Set that aside to harden while you melt the rest of the chocolate. Chop up your chocolate. Put 3 fourths of the chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. Toss that into the microwave for 30 seconds. Stir. Put it in for another 30 seconds. Stir. And if it's still not melted, repeat again. If it's still not melted, put it in for 15 second increments, stirring in between until just melted. You don't want it to get too hot or the chocolate won't harden correctly later. Toss in the rest of the chopped up chocolate and stir until melted. The chocolate should be tempered correctly after all of this. This method always works for me, but if you have trouble with tempering the chocolate, or if you want to learn about the process and why you do it, I'll leave some links down below. Pour the chocolate into the molds. Tap slightly to get rid of any air bubbles, and then pour out the extra chocolate using your offset spatula to help remove the excess. Then flip it over onto the metal rack and let the chocolate drip out. After a few minutes, clean the edges of the chocolate with the spatula and then throw it in the fridge for a few minutes to harden. Put your pumpkin mixture into a Ziploc bag and snip the corner off. You could also use a pastry bag here if you have one. Take the molds out of the fridge and fill each one with some of the filling, making sure not to overfill. My chocolate was still runny enough for this next step, but if yours isn't, reheat it in 15 second increments until melted. Fill the molds the rest of the way with the chocolate. Tap to remove air bubbles and then scrape away the excess with the offset spatula. Toss in the fridge to harden. When they're ready, flip the mold over and gently push them out. You could also slam them down like I did with these, but note that if you have delicate pieces on the candy, like these pumpkin stems, they might break off. I lost about half of mine. And then you're done. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce these videos. 
If you are interested in becoming a patron or you just want to learn about what Patreon is, there will be a link right over here that you can click on and go check it out. And all the information will be down below as well. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. A quick little announcement. If you don't already know, I made a book. I compiled all of my Inktober drawings into a book and it's on sale now at my store. So I'll leave a link down below if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these. The first few people who order will receive a free print. So yeah, I'm really excited how they turned out. This is the first sort of book that I've made. So I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys like them. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.